Watch this. So he said, don't consider them. Don't worry about the things of old. It's the end. Watch this. He says, behold, I will do a new thing. Oh, we're about to talk now. He said, behold, I will do a new thing. Now, before I even get into this new thing, watch the construction of the terminology of Isaiah. He says, behold, this word is another grammatical construct, be and go. Now, I want to encourage you that while you're moving into the manifestation of God, that you just continue to be. You got to continue to be, be. You got to continue to be who you are. You got to continue to be. You cannot allow things in the midst of the process to stop you from being. That, that, is, that, that is the issue with the believers because while we are moving forward, we allow intermineral circumstances to cause us to stop being. God says you got to continue to be while you're in the process of getting what I'm trying to get to you. Not only did he say be, but Tamika, he said, hold. Woo. He said, you got to continue to be, but while you're being, you got to hold on. <laughs> while you're being, you, you got to hold. Because, see, some of you don't let some stuff slip out of your hands because hell got too hot. But you got to learn how to hold even when it gets rough. You got to learn how to hold even when you're going through struggle. You got to learn how to hold while your faith is being tested. You got to hold while he's processing your faith and processing you. Sometimes it has nothing to do with your faith, but it has something to do with your character. So now he's trying to make your character and your faith get in alignment. Then once he does that while you're in the hole you gotta be the problem is sometimes in the process we stop being we stop being who we are our attitudes get jacked up we don't want to speak when we come in the door for some reason we feel like you know God, we deserve God is supposed to just do it for us just because and when he doesn't do it in our timetable, we stop being. You are putting yourself in manifestation danger when you stop being in the process of what God is doing. Watch this. He says, so I need you to behold. Another thing when you look at this word behold, it has everything to do with your ability to see in faith. Watch this. God is talking to Isaiah. He says, don't consider the old things. And right after that, he shouts, behold. Because behold is like an exclamation word. It's, it's like, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Excuse me, you're not focused. Hey, hey, why are you worrying about that? Hey, hey, let me get your attention. Stop, stop looking at that bill. You're looking at it too long. Stop looking at that doctor's report. You're looking at it too long. Because if you look at it too long, you're going to rejoin yesterday. If you keep looking at that bill too long, you're going to rejoin lack. You, you, I don't need you to look at it too long. But, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Behold, excuse me. Hey, you. Hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Listen up. Behold. What, what, what do you want me to behold, God? Watch what he says. He says, I need you to behold. He's talking about the ability of your faith to see beyond your temporary circumstances. He says, listen, I got something I need you to see. And the only way I can get this in your life is you have to see it first. I, I, and I want tonight to deliver you from short-sightedness. Tell your neighbor God has no limitations, so I don't have no more after tonight. I came to prophetically say into your life, whatever you see, God is able to do. I, I, listen, I don't, I don't care what everybody else told you about what you see. So what if some don't believe? You have to believe in what you see and know that God has the ability to bring it into manifestation. And, and, and 
some of you have been handicapped by the vocabulary of people around you because you keep trying to tell people what you see that don't have the ability to see what you see. You have to get the mentality that I am not a grasshopper. I, okay, tell somebody I am not a grasshopper. I step on grasshoppers. I'm not a grasshopper. I don't, come, I don't talk to grasshoppers. I don't hang with grasshoppers. I am too big to be around a grasshopper. And you can't allow grasshopper mentality and conversation to stop you from seeing. So God says, whatever you see tonight, and, and I need to adjust your vision. Now, this man and woman, these men and women of God, they are incredible in, in adjusting your focus and adjusting your vision. All I am is a confirmation tonight to push you forward in what you're seeing. But what are you seeing? Because some of you have retired your sight. Because your hope got deferred. And now you're sick. And you're going blind because you're not getting nurtured in your faith. Because even though the word is coming forth, you ain't been hearing because you've been so discouraged about your life. Because your life doesn't line up with what they've been saying. But I came tonight to jack, up you, jack you up a little bit and bring your life and your thinking to the level of a vocabulary of your leadership. So that you can walk in what they've been praying about. What they've been fasting for. What they've been preaching and prophesying and imparting. I came tonight to loose every word that's been and preach this year to come to manifestation in your life tonight. It's going to be an explosion by way of spirit and everything is about to take over your life just the way it was spoken. Put your hands on yourself and say, be unto me as it has been spoken. Come on, put your hands together and receive that word. You got to adjust your seeing. You got to start back looking. You got excited at one time and you started looking. Then you got denied a few times and you start crying. And God is not moved by your tears, but he was moved while you was looking. Because while you was looking, unbeknowing to you, he was already having a conversation in the heavens that was releasing what you was looking at. But because you were told no at the time, because sometimes we move on something without the inspiration of the spirit. And he didn't say you couldn't have it, but what happened was you turned looking into a process that moved too quickly. What God wanted you to do was look for a while while he was setting up what he needed to set up to release it. But you moved before the release. But I came back tonight as a redeemer of time. God said, look again. Tell somebody beside you, look again. It's time to see it again. Watch this. He says, behold. When he has to say behold, that means he's trying to get your attention. And it's amazing tonight that God is so concerned about bringing you into manifestation that he's trying to get your attention. behold, I will do a new thing. I want to take the pressure off you because you don't have to do nothing in this season of manifestation but walk by faith. Okay. yeah. And this season of manifestation, all God wants you to do is activate the faith. Because he says behold, because in what I want to do now is so remarkable that it requires me to step in it like I've never stepped in it before. And he said, watch this. He said, and he says, I'm getting ready to do this. I'm preparing to do this. And all I want you to do is let your faith stand up so that I can move in it. He says, watch this. I will do it. And this word do means to make or to mold. 
So in this season of your life, God is 